Hello everyone, welcome again to our uh, Joomla video tutorial. So our topic for today is uh, how to change uh, the Joomla editor. So uh, before we change the Joomla editor, we will explain to you how it works and uh, what are the functions from back end and up to front end. So in our previous uh, video, we have discussed a lot of uh, how to change some logo of the default Joomla and how to customize some colors but uh, uh, but in this video we will show you what are the usage of the Joomla editor uh, okay so if you have uh, if you have questions or clarifications uh, feel free to comment or you can check our previous video so now, uh, to understand better about Joomla 4, about the editor, let's go ahead and check this menu, Global Configuration. In Global Configurations, this is the default editor, Tiny MCE. So, what what is Tiny MCE for those who are beginners for Joomla 4? Uh, we will we will explain to you. We will give you some example and then later on you will figure it out what is the usage for this one all right so uh given let's go uh, ahead and close this one given you are writing an articles let's open a sample article let's try to use this joomla article oh uh, see is uh checkout failed uh the user checkout does not match uh, the one who check out them. So if, if you see this icon right here, uh, you need to uh, check in this one. So to check in this one, just uh, simply click the icon. Then now we're, now you are check in. Okay. So click Joomla right here. And this is the tiny MCE editor that I that you that we have set as a default for the Joomla default editor. So uh, if we will go on the front end, I'll show you that article is this article right here. So if we click read more. Yeah, so this is the article, and then you will see the uh, details of the article. So I'll go back to the admin administrator. So here, uh, in uh, Tiny MCE, you can click this uh, three buttons right here to give you some options. So it's quite uh, easy now for you to insert some link or insert some images so I, I like to have some uh, example right here to add some uh, images so I'll just simply click this one image and then uh, you can uh, you can choose advanced or general okay so from here you can select the source uh, which source do you want to insert the image but we have separate video for this one how to insert some image but at least now you know how to how to add or change this one through here so cancel this one uh, I'll put some uh, hyperlink so this is the ins insert hyperlink so just to highlight that one and insert hyperlink now you can in input some URL right there for example our website com, and uh, you can add some title if, if they put their mouse right here you will see some title and then uh, in this area uh, you can uh, put uh, whatever you want tag search or no follow or no text so I'll just leave it uh, blank 
for that one none and here you can choose uh, when they press the uh, link you can either choose a new window that will open or the current window so just let's just use the current window and click save okay so there you go so we need to save that one and we need to open it in the front end and see the hyperlink now is activated so if you click that one it will go to our main website which is uh, with develops.com because that is how we configure it to open a new tab all right so I'll go back to the administrator side from the demo side and we'll try to change this default one to a different uh, editor so to do that uh, we go to uh, we need to close this one first and then go to dashboard uh, click global configurations and then uh, you have two options actually none is uh, you don't have any editor at all the other option is the code mirror just click that one and save now let's uh, try the articles that we have test as a demo so that we can uh, easily identify the difference so here seems like only a code that is reflected and here this editor most likely if you are a hard hard coded person so you can type a paragraph strong so if it is bold so and the hyperlink that we insert so seems like a hard code but uh, uh, the best way or the easiest way to do this one is just use the tiny MC editor so I'll, I'll show you also in the front end how, how it looks like so let's open the demo site now uh, I have registered a uh, sample user right here so I will click this one a bit more and here you can see uh, if you check if you check in I think you cannot check in in the front end uh, we need to log out and then log in again user 2 Login again. Save. I forget the name of the user. Let's go back and close this one. And let's try to check first the user. Manage. Uh, sample to. Sorry about that one. I have made uh, several demo site so sometimes I uh, lose the username account for the sample so see this one when we click that one uh, now you are okay to edit if you click edit so most likely uh, go uh, hold on let me go back first to the configurations uh, most likely our code mirror uh, is just similar to the front end that will reflect uh, it's more on uh, code but the the easiest way like what I said is the tiny MCE so let's change this one to tiny MCE none is nothing so you will see nothing that one so just use uh, tiny MCE save and close and then let's go to the front end let's just refresh this one loading see so it's easy for you to modify this one because uh, you have all the icons and no need for you to hard code actually so if you add some table you just 
simply do that and that's it you can also do that here so and you can click save see so it's quite easy to use the tiny MCE but if you go back to your uh, uh, back end check the articles if you're really a person that is a uh, uh, hard-coded person the tiny MC is also quite very nice I'll show you some advanced features uh, you can also check the code so just click right here and then just click this icon source code then it will reflect to you the code yeah and then let's click cancel that one so you can uh, either put the uh, emoji actually or emoticons yeah so it's quite uh, easy to use see that one uh, I can even uh, uh, put colors right here so this is the text color I'll put it red see that one it's quite easy it's just the same as Microsoft Word so I click, click and save open it in the front end let's try okay and then let's open it in front end there you go you have the different color that we change and emoticons it's just uh, easy no need for hard uh, coding okay so but there are some also people like to use the uh, code mirror but uh, if you really uh, not a hard coded person so I recommend just to stick with tiny MCE so check out our other videos for uh, Joomla for tutorial for, for this uh, presentation. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video, video tutorial for Joomla 4. Thank you and goodbye.